Rebecca, hey, so good to see you again. You sounded great. You picked everything up fast as always. Um, okay, so just a quick review. I finally gave you some scales today. At the 12th fret, all the notes repeat. E to E, B to B, etc. That's called an octave. An octave is the same note in a higher or lower position. So when you play an extended scale, you start on the open E and then you go to the 12th fret. So it starts even. O, two, four. And it's odd. Five, seven, nine, eleven. And you have the 12th, the octave. This is just an E major scale. You can play that on any string. And then I gave you the on off. So you start with two E's and then you go on the fret, off the fret. You can do that on any string too. It just produces new keys, key of B, key of G, etc. But then I gave you the one, two. So you play the first string and then the second, with your middle and then your index. So then you play the scale. middle finger or your first finger for the scale or you can change it up which is probably the best thing to do play this slowly and accurately doesn't work as good in the other keys but E is the most important key because we're tuned to E so as you remember it's E low E high E and we have A up a fourth to D up a fourth to G up a third to B so E A Okay, then we reviewed your chord cycle. So you have your E cycle, which is E minor to E major to A minor to A major, and then to B7. And then you can use a pick, grab one from your dad, and play the simple strum pattern that goes down, down, up, up, down, up. Say the chord names as you're playing them so that you really feel secure what all their names are. And then the other chord cycle I gave you started on a four finger G. So this is new for you. It's very easy, but it's different. And then C add nine, you shift these two down. That's a five string chord. Five, four, three, two, one. And then for D, keep that ring finger where it is. And if you find your book at uh, Ignatius House, uh, in the back of your book is the chord um, diagrams with all the different chords I teach. So again, the key thing here is that your ring finger, third finger, never moves. G, C add 9, D, back to G. You can do it with the same strum. Okay, and then um, finally, uh, Miserable Man. It's based on these simple two note shapes called thirds. So you start here, 10 and 9. And you go to five and four, and you go to seven and five. That's the intro. And the picking goes six, five, six, two, six, five, six, two. So you do four in the first one. One, two, three, four. And one, two, one, two. That's the verse. That's the first pattern for the verse. And then the um, pre chorus pattern goes past the starting point to 12 and 10. It goes 12, 10, 5, 7. And it's doing two beats on each. And even though you're going to be tempted to use that other weird fingering, don't do it. Keep six of this because your first finger is always down. And it's good for you to be able to change fingers this way. You'll see why in time. And then you have this pre-chorus that only happens once. It's the only time you have a one finger chord. And it goes back really quickly too. You just do it once, so it's, sorry. Two, and three, and five. And then the chorus is like this. It goes. So numerically speaking, it's seven to the five. sections. You have the verse which goes um, 10, 5, 7. You have the pre-chorus which goes 12, 10, 5, 7. 
think that goes twice, and then you have this little connective part that goes two, three, five. And then you have the chorus which repeats and just goes seven, five, ten, three. Always with the same pattern that goes six, five, six, four, and you want to do thumb, index, thumb, middle, thumb, index, thumb, middle. That's it, dude. Have fun.